This is James Callan from UCL presenting my and Justina Pecker's paper on optimizing SQL using GI. SQL is the language we use to interact with relational databases. We choose to apply GI to read-only queries, select queries in SQL. This avoids any risk to the database being accessed. We specifically target join statements. They select entries from different tables with some matching value, discarding those with no match. We propose three mutation operators for join statements. Our first mutation operator simply reorders join statements. Ideally, we want the statements which discard the most entries first, so later queries have to check less entries, which saves time. There are join statements which aren't needed, so we propose the remove join operator. We can see a real commit, which simply removes a join. The program did not need to change, despite the different results that the query will return. There are four types of join. Some joins discard rows with no matches, others don't. If we can change the join type and get smaller results, the transmission of these results will be faster, and therefore the query will be faster. What challenges are there? Testing is the main challenge. This GI should be applied to well-tested regions of code, which exercise the results of queries, testing the queries in context rather than directly. We must test queries on representative databases. Since databases change over time, testing snapshots from various time periods would be useful for finding changes which generalize. These changes may also impair some properties. Bigger results will increase memory and network usage. Therefore, a multi-objective approach would be suitable to find the best trade-off between these properties. In conclusion, SQL queries offer opportunity for optimization. We have proposed three simple transformations to join statements which could achieve this. Finally, test the program, not the query. Different results aren't necessarily wrong, but may be faster. Thank you for listening.